What's up? This is Jake with Hike 734 hiking the Mount Holmes and Trilobite Lake Trail in Yellowstone National Park. And the trail works its way up um, Winter Creek and it ends up going all the way up and it forks. And um, I went up uh, Mount Holmes first and then that circles up all the way to the top where there's a lookout. And then I also went up Trilobite, up to Trilobite Lake there. So anyways, the trail starts out at the Mount Holmes Trailhead and it um, works its way through some trees and quickly comes to a wonderful meadow. And uh, I was doing it nice and early and so I got to see a big old bison just steaming in the meadow. And uh, the trail just kind of lazily follows the meadow and kind of goes in and out of some trees, eventually joins up with the power lines and the trail just kind of parallels that. And then there is a creek ford, but uh, there's so many down trees, you should be able to find one to walk across, but just kind of be forewarned that that may happen. So anyways, from there, you start working your way up and it's just really cool as you work your way up this creek, the uh, creek on your left, and then you have the sagebrush meadows on your right, and you're just kind of going through open forest. And I really like that because it just is always interesting with the birds and whatnot. And early in the morning, I got to see um, a herd of elk, which was great. There was probably about 30 of them just kind of in and out of the trees, but uh, always a big fan of that. <laughs> Anyways, just kept working up that creek and uh, um, start working up to join up with the trail that comes down from Grizzly Lake along Straight Creek. And um, from there, you just keep climbing and climbing which I'm not exactly sure why it has to go so high, but you go up and then you eventually, you get really cool views of Winter Creek and Straight Creek. And then you drop down right to the edge of Winter Creek. And then you just kind of parallel that for a long time. And it's really a nice creek bottom. It's pretty broad. And for the most part, you spend most of your time there, kind of in that same open forest at the beginning. And then, Eventually you kind of leave it a little bit and then you get into this little bit denser lodgepole forest for a little bit and then you break out again from that and it's just so nice. And the creek actually wasn't really running per se, even though it was running underneath the rocks there, but it was just really great. And the further up you go, the more it opens up and it just gets into this really great um, open meadows. And yeah, it's just awesome. Loads of birds, um, I guess, probably a lot of possibilities of seeing some animals. But anyways, you finally get up to this enormous meadow and in this meadow, um, you come to this cabin and that's where the trail splits. So I went left for Mount Holmes first and it starts working its way up the a pretty dense lodgepole forest. Um, it was actually really cool because I got to see this awesome mule deer buck. And then, from, and then it kind of wrap, starts wrapping its way around. And as it wraps its way around, it really opens up and you get just really fun views. Just, I don't know, just looking down into the valley below. And from there, you just kind of traverse across this really big open space. And I really enjoyed that, um, especially, it just w gradually works its way up. So it's not killing you because you're gonna need to save some of that energy. Um, but anyways, finally it gets into some, an older stand of trees, which is really nice. And at the base of some of those rocks and whatnot, so you can start hearing pikas and just the moonscape that is Trilobite Point and Mount Holmes. And uh, you just start working your way up into, heading up towards the pass between, I believe it's White Peaks and Mount Holmes. And just really cool cliffs, really cool boulder fields, pikas, lots of really cool birds. Um, and then finally you start turning your way and start the official climb up Mount Holmes. And uh, now while you've been gaining some elevation, it definitely gets steeper, but because it's a lookout, the, it's not crazy. But the views of course, as always, just keep getting better and better. And a storm was coming in on me and I was trying to hurry up to get to the top before it hit. And uh, basically when I got all the way up to the top, I got to see the lookout and the storm hit. And so I got hailed and rained on. So that was pretty awesome. So I quickly wrapped things up and hustled down and uh, worked my way down. It was kind of nice because I got a little bit of uh, sunshine on the way down instead of at the top. And then um, on the way down, I got to see that buck one more time and uh, went back down to that cabin and uh, started working my way 
up towards Trilobite Lake. And this one, similarly to Mount Holmes, goes right into uh, the dense lodgepole. And then it gets broken up as you cross this little tiny seasonal stream, um, which is kind of nice just to have a little bit of views. And then it goes right back into the, the forest there. And then it opens up to a small meadow and then it opens up to a really large meadow. And here's where you're gonna definitely wanna make sure you're paying attention to the orange uh, little flagging that they have on um, the, the trees and whatnot. And um, you'll work your way across it's kind of swampy, but actually it wasn't too bad this time of year, but I have a feeling early in the season it would be quite spongy, so. Um, but yeah, you just go right for that hillside and you start working your way up that hillside. And it doesn't mess around. And it's kind of interesting because I almost feel like maybe the fire that came through there really screwed up the, the trail because there's a lot of the trail where it doesn't feel like much of a trail. And you spend a lot of time walking, which just feels like I'm just stepping on meadows or hillside as I'm climbing up because there's not a defined trail and then all of a sudden you'll get on something and traverse across for a ways and it'll be a great trail so I'm not exactly sure um, what the story is with that but I definitely want to say that there is some route finding so make sure that you um, are looking for cut logs and you are looking for that orange flagging but it's kind of nice as you get up higher you get to look back and um, you know whenever you're higher like that it's kind of fun to see some of the little lakes and um, meadows and stuff that you didn't even know existed until you got some elevation. But anyways, from, uh, from there, you uh, get up to right towards, the, towards this really cool cliffy, bouldery section, and then you turn into the valley. And I really like that section. It's kind of an ent enchanted forest looking place. And um, you just kind of cruise back on in there. And um, at this point I had cruised quite a few miles, so I was a little bit, little bit disappointed by how much elevation I lost. And I came down to this boulder field and got to see some pikas, which is always fun. And then went up um, and then went into the forest again. And then finally, I was, after I descended a little bit, came down to the lake. And it's just a really pretty alpine pocket lake up there and um, nice steep cliffs and all that. Um, I had been told by some people that there were some uh, mountain goats. And I thought, are you sure you don't, you mean bighorn sheep? And sure enough, right around where I saw the pika, there were some of these mountain goats hanging out. So that was really cool, a nice bonus for the day. And then I just started working my way out and I just, one of the things that's great about this hike is that you get a lot of um, early sun that lights up one side and then you get some late sun that lights up the other. So it's just really pretty coming and going. Good chance to see pretty much anything as you can tell. And um, yeah, overall really great, um, very big day. I would obviously pick either or. Um, the whole thing is like 26 miles or some, some goofy thing like that if you try and do both. So, um, but I would love to do mountain homes again, but I would like to do it on a day where the thunderstorms don't come in. But if you're going to do it, make sure you get an early start because afternoon thunderstorms can be ornery. So anyways, I'm Jake with Hike 734, hiking Mount Holmes and Trilobite Lake in Yellowstone National Park. If you like this video, subscribe on YouTube and head over to hike734.com for more goodness.